Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Shack, and welcome to another episode of Mod Library. This is the series where I spotlight some of the most fantastic mods that are out there. And today we're looking at one for Sins of the Solar Empire called Sins of the Prophets. Now, Sins of the Prophets is a Halo total conversion for Sins of the Solar Empire. That's right, Halo. So if you've read the books, if you're very familiar with the Halo franchise, let me go ahead and get a game loaded up here then you're going to know, especially the books, like Fall of Reach, and it's been a while since I've read that one, so my, my, some of my information may be outdated, but uh, there's a lot, most of it is space-based combat when they talk about it. Uh, all right, let's load up, doo do do this one. And kind of give you guys an idea. Now, there's some pretty interesting gameplay mechanics here. Uh, the combat itself is extremely different from the original game and how the pirates work in this, which are actually now the Flood, function completely differently. So, first thing you're going to notice, it's the Orbital structure complete. You know, generic sins, you've got your planets and whatnot. Now let's zoom in. Here is the fleet going around killing stuff. I'm playing as the UNSC forces. The models in the game are pretty fantastic. They had to come up with, I think, a few of these models all by themselves and I know they borrowed quite a few from the mod Homefront for I want to say Homeworld 2. So this is kind of in conjunction with that mod. Hornet's nest ready to sting. But definitely Flip space it looks complete. pretty damn good and what you're gonna find is with the combat on this one. All right here we go we've got the the Covenant forces have just warped into the sector so what I'm gonna have to do is I gotta go fall back here. The Covenant ships in the books. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Run, guys, run! The Covenant ships in the Halo universe are way more advanced than the UNSC, and the only advantage, the only working weapon they really have against the Covenant are these giant Mac cannons. Look at that! He's already shooting at me, and he's gonna kill that ship in almost one shot. So battles work out really fast. They happen in phases, um, two phases actually, is how they, the developers what have described this. Fall back. Situation up. These would be the Mac cannons, by the way. These are the giant orbital ones. Now these can kill a ship, a frigate, and a cruiser in about one shot. But they take a while to reload, and the majority of these ships I have here have these Mac cannons and then missile pods. So with the humans, you've got to win the fights really quickly. I see we've made a few upgrades. Research Let's order go ahead complete. and start engaging the enemy. So you've got to win the fight. You've got to take down the enemy's DPS Our really, really fast. Oh, shit. So what you're going to find is battles happen ridiculously fast. Now, I'm not going to win this fight. The Covenant have far too many ships. The balance works is humans do a ton of damage in the first salvo, but the Covenant... They do moderate damage in the first salvo, but then they keep doing damage even through to phase two Our while the humans are reloading. Is critical. So, yeah, you see my ships are just getting decimated while they're firing off their, their rounds, trying to reload those Mac cannons fast enough. We just didn't do the DPS that we needed to stop this Covenant fleet. Hopefully I did enough to where the, uh, the actual Mac cannon turrets will be able to take down the rest of these ships. That's actually one of my colony ships there getting blasted away. Our capital ship's hull is critical. Yeah, there she goes. I'm losing these turrets pretty quickly. They came in with far more DPS Our capital than ship's I had. Hull is and that's the key. That is the Long biggest key, is to take enter. down the enemy. All wings checking in. Oh shit, got a capital ship right here. Uh, no, it's just a carrier. Avoiding Get out of there, carrier. Run, run for your life. Oh no. It's Oh, she's going down with all hands. No. So combat is really fast paced. Uh, I'm still kind of getting Our the hang of it. Ship's hull is seeing how the balance is. This is, I believe, still in beta. So they're still balancing it, but I really like how it's so different than since. How battles are just fast paced. In the first match I played, I'm gonna watch this covenant just run in here and glass my planet. If you've ever read the Fall of Reach books or know anything about the lore, Reach was the human outpost. It was the fortress, the last stand, right? And they had all these giant Mac cannon turrets, which are, you know, right now <laughs> valiantly trying to defend the world, but it's not going to happen. Ground so, are under I was pushed back. I 
pulled all my ships to one planet. You know, I had to rename it Reach, too, because I knew exactly what was going to happen. The Covenant fleet was on its way, and I mounted my last stand, and it was just this epic battle of Mac rounds flying and ships detonating and missiles flying everywhere in a, on a massive scale. And that first salvo, I had so many, you know, more ships, and the human ships are very cheap compared to the Covenant ships, and you can have a, way more of them. That's where the balance comes in. You can see them firing off their plasma weapons. But it was just an epic scene that was straight out of the books, and it made sense to the canon. Now, there, there is a balance, like I said. Human ships are cheaper. We'll go ahead and look at some of the build lists. Human ships are cheaper. They don't take as much supply. You can build far more of them. Uh, here's the Mako anti-fighters. Uh, you can see there are only 275 credits and then 15 of the, what do they call, deuterium. The cruisers themselves, Paris class frigates, 400. So really, as ships go, fairly inexpensive. And even the capital ships, like here's the Marathon class cruiser, only take 12 supply, which means I can build eight or nine of them. Um, and you can mix and match all the uh, the different capital ships. And a couple of them have the Shiva nuclear missile. And they look pretty damn good. All right, so let's take a look at the other big gameplay mechanic that they've added and it's the uh the flood now the flood have taken over for the let's load up this one the flood have taken over for the pirates and they are oh man you gotta watch out because i originally didn't think about it i didn't read too much i just jumped into a match and i turned the pirates on because pirates make things interesting uh but they never are really a threat well, in this, they are definitely a threat. So I'm going to move my fleet here. See, I think they're going to come this way. I have the Flood turned on, and the Flood will change the game mechanic completely because the Flood act like... Um, it's like surviving waves. It's like a survival mode because they will just rush you. Now, I've got a couple Flood units over here already attacking me. Oh, perfect timing. So that was a fighter that just detonated. Their fighters are actually their spores, and they just took over my turrets. Now, as fighters go, they're pretty slow, but if they get within range of a defensive unit or a ship, they'll embed their spores into the ship, and they'll take it over, like the Flood do in the series. Here they go again. They just took that from me. So, when you're fighting against the Flood, I highly recommend, and I didn't know this the first time, oh god, here comes the Flood fleet. Like the view? I really recommend you have lots of anti-fighter oh, support. I see you. All right, so we're going to move the fleet over here. Let's Situation move everybody. Update, Let's get everybody over forces here. Have engaged the enemy. And they come in just giant waves. Now, their ships, I believe, are weaker, but they give they, they have a lot of them, and they can take enemy fleets over if you're not careful, not able to take out all these. Look at all these spores. So you're going to want to have, you know, fighter squadrons to kill them before they can get in range of your turrets. Because turrets are really susceptible to them because they're they're not that fast. You can outrun these with frigates, but you can't outrun them if you have a stationary defensive line of turrets, which is really bad. So they've gotten to this planet. Now the only option is going to be to nuke the planet. And they just start spraying spores down to the planet's surface. While they take over the rest of the building. So let's... Colony command signal lost. Put you guys. Crew A, oh, good grief. All right, so we lost that planet. Let's drop a few turrets and let's do a last line of defense against my home world. Invalid structure placement. So this game is already lost. And I haven't even seen the Covenant yet because of how powerful the Flood are. I see we've made a few upgrades. But they're designed to be that way. If you turn the Flood on in a multiplayer match with your buddies, be ready to fight Situation the gigantic please. waves. Just be ready for it. Flip space jump complete. Okay, they're gonna be coming I'll in here any moment now. Let's see if we can get some defense. I just I love these mat cannons. These things are just so ridiculous. They do tons of damage, but they shoot, shoot so slowly. I see we've made a few upgrades. Now the combat system in this really it reminds me of like old school. Oh, here comes the flood. Old school firing lines. I see. We've it's imperative that we get over here and get defend these turrets. Where are our fighters? Oh, man, I didn't get here in time. It's going to be really hard to stop these guys. 
So these are Paris bus frigates. They don't actually have the ability to really defend themselves against the flood, but the Makos do. It's exactly what they do. So what I can do is I can kind of kite around the enemy. Because the spores are just lobbed. They're pretty slow. Come on, don't stop, don't stop. They catch up to you, you're screwed. What can I do for you? You hold shift, you can actually command your ships in a circle. Go ahead, sir. See, I wasn't fast enough with these guys lost these Paris frigates. Now they're controlled by the enemy and they're gonna be used against me. Go ahead, sir. UNSC forces so if you have guide them, you kind the of kite the fighters around, you can kill them. I don't have enough Makos. Actually, in this little group, I don't have any Makos. Which is really, really bad. Alright, so there we go, firing our Mac cannons, hoping that these frigates will be able to defend themselves against the flood, and no. They weren't anti-fighter frigates. I'm gonna lose this entire group. Ground forces are under planetary bombardment. And that's less, I believe, about balance. That's more that's more just be Orbital having a poor complete. build. Colony but command you definitely can get an idea. Points. Like look at that. They've even got themselves a capital Orbital ship. Structure complete. So nothing is safe. And now they're gonna infect the rest of these turrets. Colony you can quickly lose your entire lost. defensive line to the flood if you're not prepared. Now I fought them with a better mix of anti, let's see here if I can even look now that I've lost, of uh, these Mako class anti-fighter ships. And I've been able to stop the flood's advancement and actually push them back. So it's kind of fun to get into a match with a buddy and see if you can clear the galaxy of the flood. Uh, they will quickly overwhelm the universe if you're not careful, which fits with the lore just oh so well. Look at the models on this too. The models are pretty good. Some are kind of low textured, but they all fit the universe. One thing that you will notice, and you're probably hearing that right now, and I'll shut up for a minute. They've got their own composer and it's just, oh man, it's probably some of the best music I've heard in a mod in a really long time. Like custom, 100% custom music that they've made and it fits the universe so well. It's got a very, it's like a Halo Mass Effect mix is the best way that I can just uh, describe it with. I honestly, I want the album myself just to put it in the background if I'm playing something like X3 or EVE Online. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap up this episode of Mod Library. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, these episodes go out every Wednesday spotlighting a new mod. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel, and as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.